With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, they are asking us to outline a project for determining the dominant coat color in dogs. Now, here we are talking about inheritance and uh, the trait for which we have to find the pattern of inheritance they are giving the coat color that is the color of the fur in dogs so whenever we talk about inheritance the first name that comes to our mind is gregor mendel because uh, he was a first scientist who tried to find out through systematic scientific experiments how inheritance takes place or how characters are passed on from the parent to the next generation to their progeny so although coat color in dogs is not strictly according to the laws of inheritance that are given by mendel but uh, here we cannot take into account all the genetic factors which are involved in determining coat color in dogs so we are going to take a very simple representation of this if the trait is coat color then according to the first law of inheritance that mendel is given that is our law of dominance what are we going to assume that uh, any trait according to mendel it is under the control of one particular factor and these factors according to mendel also always occurred in pairs so what mendel is trying to say is that there is one particular gene which is going to control the coat color for dogs and because factors are supposed to be paired according to mendel we are going to say there are two alternative forms or two alleles of this gene suppose we say the gene is b so one of these alleles is going to be dominant which is always going to express itself and by convention we are going to represent it using the capital letter b so suppose this dominant allele capital b produces the dominant phenotype of black coat color and the other allele that we have the recessive one which is not able to express itself in the presence of dominant allele we are going to denote it with a small b it produces brown coat color or any lighter color white color so according to this system what we can see is that uh, there can be three kinds of genotype three kinds of condition can be there either organism can have both capital b in that case the phenotype is going to be black the dog is going to be of black color because this allele produces black color second condition we can have where there are both small bees in this case dog is going to be brown because this allele produces brown phenotype but it can also be that both of the alleles are present one is capital one is small and according to a law of dominance in such a case the dog is going to be black colored because this capital b allele is dominant and this small b is not going to be able to express itself so when we are carrying out such a cross on one side we will take our pure black dog the other parent we are going to take the pure brown dog and when we conduct a cross between them in the next generation we are going to find all of these offspring have this genotype why because from one parent they received the capital b from the other parent they are receiving small b so now they have both of these and all of the offspring in this generation our first filial generation we call f1 generation all of them are going to be black in color so by this what can we determine by carrying out this project we see when we are crossing pure black with pure brown we are obtaining in the f1 generation all black colored progeny so by such a simple experiment we can determine that the dominant coat color is going to be which one which is appearing in the f1 generation because the dominant allele is going to express itself no matter what so the dominant one is the gene which appears in the f1 generation after we conduct a cross between these two and in such a way by this experiment we can determine the dominant coat color and in such a setup not only for dogs not only for coat color we take any organism we take any characteristic any trait the trait which is appearing in the f1 generation we can say for sure it is the dominant trait because the dominant allele of the gene always suppresses the recessive one and it always 
expresses itself according to mendel's law of dominance for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today